Stormhale. Home to the headquarters of the Sacred Guard. And the last place in which I expected to receive a reply to my letter. Mint has lost none of her penchant for procedure, I see. Dear Temenos, are you well? For my part, I am pleased to say that the investigation has calmed at last. Whenever I think upon the late Pontiff, a tightness seizes my chest. Nevertheless, I forge ahead. I received your letter gladly. I understand the Sacred Guard's headquarters is your next destination. I pray you'll not quarrel with them, despite your, shall we say, strained relationship. As ever, our door is open to you should you need rest. May the dawn bring good tidings and good fortune, Mint. Mint is as meddlesome in print as in person. I won't be returning anytime soon. Which I'm sure she'll be displeased to hear. Very well then, to work. And to the Sacred Guard. For the interrogation of one Vados, the Architect. Crows dither and squawk in their nest as ever. It leaves me cold every time I lay eyes upon it. Move! Move, I say! Ow! Ow, ow, ow! <clears throat> Forgive me. Are you hurt? Hmm. Oh, quite. Mortally wounded, in fact. As I live and breathe, the Temenos! If you've come all this way, then... You're here to interrogate Vados, aren't you? Indeed. And what has you so flustered? Truth be told, I've overslept. And now you're in quite the rush. Newly anointed, are we? Hmm. Then use the following as your excuse. Forgive me, but I had to receive the unexpected visitor from the Inquisition. But that would be a lie. The path to adulthood is paved with benign lies, Crick. I will not stand for you treating me like a child. Oh? I believe all I've done is offer you an alibi. So you did. And I am left wondering why. You must have designs. <laughs> you mustn't doubt people so. No. No. I cannot abide this. I shall accept the punishment for my tardiness. Serves me right for trying to repay a debt. What debt? How fares Vados since his capture? I do not know. I was not with him the whole time. 
I was only to escort him to the Sacred Guard's headquarters. He is being held somewhere within its confines, I imagine. Would you arrange a meeting with him for me? I promise you I would do it myself, were I on better terms with the Sacred Guard. Consider it done, Temenos. Night Trip, what brings you here? The Inquisitor has come from the church. He requests a meeting with Vados the Architect, whom I brought here not days ago. Just a moment. My apologies, but I see no record of his arrival. In fact, I do not see the name Vados written anywhere at all. How can that be? Search once more, I beg you. There must be some mistake. I assure you, I've looked over the ledger numerous times. There is no mistake. Hmm. I... I don't understand. Come, Crit. Let us return later. You're certain you delivered him here? Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Then perhaps the Sacred Guard has stricken his name from the ledger. For some reason or other? How dare you? That cannot be! A messenger of the gods would never distort the truth. Not even if their gods willed it done? You dare utter such blasphemy! The truth is a thing to be discerned with one's own eyes, Crick. Not even the gods deserve our unquestioning loyalty. Who are you? I understand that your faith is shaken. But I ask you, do you not wish to know the truth? We must investigate the Sacred Guard. Will you join me? If so, then I ask you to search for any other records of Vados' arrival. I shall search our surroundings for anything unusual. Good luck, Crick. Bloodstains. What you seek lies just ahead, they say. And also, beware, danger lurks here. Identify yourself. <laughs> of course, I know why you've come. Put simply, you mean to eliminate me. Temenos! Crick! I'm glad you're safe. You've a sanctum knight by your side, you know. Perhaps you could rely on the power of a god's blade such as me. He says, newly anointed. That hood. Are they from the sacred guard? Who are you? Show yourself! We must not follow them too far, Crick. But Temenos! My debts to you multiply, Crick. Cease your worrying over these debts. So, you renounce your gods? Uh, I... 
I wish to believe in the gods, as I wish to believe in you. Then allow me to thank you for your trust. We must press onward. We've yet to find what we're searching for. The architect. But why? Hmm. What an unfortunate end for the wicked Vide servant. How fares your investigation, Crick? I searched the Sacred Guard's own records, but there is truly no mention of his arrival. Someone ordered this done, Crick. Someone connected to the Sacred Guard itself. Surely not. They used Vados and then had him killed. You're lying. I don't believe you. The Sacred Guard would never... Anything in which I can place my faith. That you must find out for yourself. Though I must warn you, there are few things worthy of our faith. You don't even have faith in your own gods, do you? You doubt anything and everything in this world. Doubt is what I do. I hail from a noble house, albeit one fallen from grace. My parents taught me to steal, to use others as a stepping stone to my own success. <laughs> but I couldn't bring myself to believe that is the sum total of this life. But then the Inquisitor paid me a visit and told me something I'll never forget. A noble flame burns within you. Hmm. Those words gave me something to believe in. For the first time in my life, I left home and joined the Order of the Sacred Flame. The world is a cruel and irrational place. It's something to believe in, something to hold fast to. I want to extend a hand to the weak and cleave the wickedness from this world. I wish to be that sword for the people. <laughs> well, that is just lovely in its naivety. Do not mock me, Temenos. I meant what I said. Uh, the Inquisitor you met. His name was Roy, was it not? Ah, so you knew him. I've a strange affinity for him, yes. Come to think of it, you resemble one another. You both share a rigid sense of morality that makes you honest to your own detriment. Roy preceded me as Inquisitor. However, he embarked on an investigation into the Church, but never returned. Yes, I'm aware. 
The church has secrets. Extraordinary, terrible secrets. Those were his final words to me. Those words cemented in me a distrust of the church and a desire to expose the truth. And they are a dying wish I intend to honor. Mind you, I do not intend to find and kill whoever is behind this. I simply wish to bring the truth to light. Long have I searched for it. And at last, it is close at hand. I am beginning to believe it myself. The Sacred Guard is hiding something. You've made great strides this day, Crick. Now, who could be the mastermind? Let us review what we know, Temenos. No, no. That is enough for today. Are you joking? I feel fatigue setting in, and besides... You were injured in the attack, were you not? What? This? You must take care of yourself, Crick. We charge headlong into danger. <sighs> Understood, Temenos. But do be honest with me. You're allowed to say you just want time alone to think. <laughs> That's delightfully perceptive of you, Crick. Good night, Temenos. Good night. Before Vados was murdered, he killed the pontiff, an apothecary, and a scholar. The problem is, someone must have forced him to do it. And this won't end until we find out who. <sighs> we need more evidence. Surrender yourself, not unto silent dusk. For the light shall fade. Those words... I must learn more about them. Here it is. Surrender yourself not unto silent dusk, for the light shall fade. It's a verse from the Book of Night. As if it weren't surprising enough that these stats lay hidden in our headquarters. How did Vados come to know a verse from this of all tomes? I simply do not understand. Nevertheless, this may be the key we've been looking for. I must inform Temenos. Think, Temenos. Whoever is behind this plot ordered the Pontiff and the others murdered, and their pages from the Book of Night taken. Who would do such a thing? Hmm. There must be something I've overlooked. 
Perhaps I should search the premises of the Sacred Guard once more. What's happened now? This is quite a crowd. That's one of them from the Sacred Guard, isn't it? How did this happen? No, no. Gods be merciful. My apologies. Would you let me through? Something in his hand. A scrap of paper from a book. These words. Stand back. Clear path. This isn't a show. Go about your days. What are you doing here? Be on your way. He was my friend. I wish to aid in the investigation of his death. I fail to see how you'd be anything more than dead weight. Be gone. Who is safe with me, and it was not gathered in vain. I shall follow the path you have laid out before me. The truth lies in the flame. I swear to you, I will carry on the work you were torn from yesterday. And so, I must be off. Given the scrap of paper in his hand, he must have been poring over the works in this room. Though I cannot imagine what would be so sensitive as to warrant killing a man for laying eyes upon it. Did he go elsewhere after procuring this clue? Hmm. 
Why is this book upside down? And the creation of heaven and earth, no less. Surely it's not the first to be put back in haste, but... Wait a moment. There's something scrawled on the back of the shelf. Break the earth's shackles and look to the heavens. That's a bit too much to ascribe to coincidence. I'll be sure to look into these heavens. Let's see. I've come here in search of the heavens, and yet... What's this? Some sort of... mechanism? That sounded like a lock opening. You became a true knight before you pass, Crick. No ordinary man would notice such a thing. I'm going to find the truth, Crick. The truth you were diligently working toward. Still have much to learn. I shall be your opponent. My turn. You have your opportunity. So it goes. I'll do what I must. Here I come. I still have much to learn. Forbidden tomes, all. So much knowledge erased from history. What could possibly be the Sacred Guard's aim? I see the Pontiff's Hound knows how to follow a scent. <laughs> Crick knew too much. He was a fool to bring me into this, to continue his investigation. An investigation that led him to the Book of Night. And consequently, 
to his grave. By the hand of someone you know well. Who are you? Why are you trying to stop us? No, you're not. You coward! You... You're... Captain Cortina. Such a capable man. A little too capable, perhaps. <laughs> Accept your punishment for disobeying the gods. So, the one behind all this. Is Caldina. <laughs> you understand we must put an end to you. Just like we did to your little helper. He wasn't an easy kill, I'll say that. Captain Caldina herself had to intervene and finish the job. But he was a damn fool, as are you. Your perverse sense of justice leads you to defy the gods. And so, you shall have your divine punishment. <laughs> Is that anger I see in your eyes? How unusual. <laughs> Does it hurt, knowing your cute little assistant's been killed? The captain's gone. She has other matters to attend to. And that's all you need to know. Fine. Seal your lips, you so-called messenger of the divine. Captain Caldina herself ordered you killed, you know. I believe her words were, bring the hound to heal. Stay your beak, crow. Ready? Here I come. Prepare yourself. Nice. Take what I want. Does your superior intend to use it to bring darkness upon the land? Is that her play? <laughs> Go to hell. There's your answer. Hmm. Before I do, you will atone for your sins. Crick Wellesley, as a disciple of the gods, your soul is eternal. Sheath your sword and rest forevermore. Hmm. <sighs> A sight 
victim knight, are you? Newly anointed, but yes. Why do you rage against the sacred flame? I beg you, look inside yourself and repent. And here we are, my lost lamb. I beg you, cease calling me a lamb of any sort. My name is Crick, and you would do well to remember it. Stand back, Temenos. I... I will protect you. I appreciate your courage, but I need not be sheltered from any and all danger. You don't even have faith in your own gods, do you? You doubt anything and everything in this world. This is hardly fair, Crick. You've left me in your debt. But fear not. I will see that debt repaid. I swear it. I found at the Fell Sun ruins can belong to only one person. Caldina. I'm sure of it. Which means she can only be headed to one place. The Nameless Village. She aims to unleash the power of the night upon us all. I must stop her before she can finish the rite. Watch over me, Crick. I shall shine enough light on the church's misdeeds for the both of us. And put an end to Caldina's treachery. <laughs>